Look, it looks like little nostrils there flaring with anger. Isn't he amazing? This is a crab spider of some sort, I think. And I'll show you the flower that he has disguised himself like. Or as. That is just beautiful. Right, so sorry, a slightly frenetic start this morning. Uh, Senzo is on camera today. He is in the tent with us today. Uh, Taylor will be out on walk very shortly, as soon as there's sufficient light. And then uh, I will be here, of course, in the tent for the next three hours. Uh, well, I might go down to the garages and burn Rusty and Jigger while I, you know, during the sort of breaks when I'm not on there, because the two of them uh, are not deserving of our respect or indeed of our attention. Good. Now this is the plant that it came off. Oh. The last bloom of the wild jasmine. Is it not amazing? Well, I don't suppose that is an amazing picture really. It's a sort of whitish flower. But we'll see what it looks like under the microscope and I'll show you why the spider is so important or why the spider is interesting, because if we can try and get them together, I'll see if I can get them together under here. You can see that the color is roughly the same. You can see how easily the little spider would slot. There you go, there's the spider. You'll see how easily it would slot into that flower, where it will lie in wait for probably ants and other birds, not birds, other ants and probably flies and other insects to come along, try and get to the nectary of the flower, and they'll be devoured by the crab spider, which I think is rather interesting. There you are. You can go back to your little flower now. How cool is this? You can just try and get them slightly better. There we are. Go into your little flower, and then I'm going to put you back from exactly where you came from. There is angry little flaring nostrils. Well, those are probably eyes. In fact, they're definitely eyes. He's got two eyes on the top of his head and two eyes on the front of his head. <laughs> Isn't he just gorgeous? It looks like he's been very specially camouflaged by some intrepid painter. And, of course, that intrepid painter is evolution to most of us. Right, let me put him back.